a lot of us, man, we be uh. You did twenty years, then. Yeah, twenty. I did five first, then I did twenty. I did five in the juvenile system. I did twenty in the penitentiary. And I went. So to, you really did more time in prison than, than you I ever did on, did on the, the earth. Street, on the earth. That's why a lot of times, <laughs> when some of y'all <laughs> young niggas, hell. when some of y'all, when some of y'all young niggas in here that still that still be living that shit, I don't be talking to y'all on Instagram as some square ass lame ass nigga. I'm talking to y'all as a nigga that been in the prison yard and see little young boy come in with his tattoos on his face and he like, oh gee, like what's up? You know Keisha from where? I don't know, brother. That's your mom? Yeah. She said, could you call her? Call her. Man, man, yeah, he got a shooting. Then I go back, young boy, let me see your paperwork. He like, yeah, how much time? He's like, when can I when I'm when I'm going home? See. 2073. Cease. And now is and now all the gangster shit gone. The homies gone. The bitch is gone. Ain't nobody. So when I'm on there, I'm speaking from a place of trying to get niggas some real game. Cause I'm gonna tell you some shit, thug. It's lonely than a motherfucker in there. And when life goes on, your family dying. So when I'm seeing the young niggas, and I, you know, certain niggas hit me, I DM and give them some game. I'll be trying to lay it on it because like. I ain't the nigga that's gonna say, here, young, and take this pistol. Take this package. I ain't gonna put you on no dummy mission. And the problem is, so many niggas are scared of y'all. I'm not scared of no young niggas. Because I'm not coming at you in the wrong way. I'm coming at you the way your daddy ain't come at you. The way your, your, your uncle couldn't come at you. Because them niggas was dead in prison. So I ain't gonna be on the gram talking some sucker shit to you. Just like I checked the young nigga in here. I don't know who it was. If you... If, like you rappers, like the artists, if you don't want to be an artist, take it to the streets. But don't bring the dumb shit in the game trying to prove that you're a fucking real nigga. And while you proving that you're a real nigga, you're going to finesse yourself out of position and out of opportunity that can change your family and generations in your family life. Y'all getting money that niggas never got, thug. Mm -hmm. This video you are watching right now is going to be the best content on my channel. So right here we have Wallo warning Young Thug even before he caught the Rico case. And this is actually crazy because you know Wallo gave a lot of million dollar worth of game on this particular clip. And a big shout out to Wallo, a big shout out to million dollar worth of game. Because you know this is the game, right? This is actually the game because Young Thug right now has lasted how many months? in jail and he's been going to court and coming back he's been going to court and coming back and he's lonely right now because everyone turned their back on him right all the ysl members turned their back on him right now he is realizing everything that wallow said on this particular video i'm very sure that where he's locked up in jail right now he is watching this particular video from Wallow warning him when he went on million dollar worth of game and trust me he is really regretting everything he is regretting not making changes after Wallow warned him on this particular clip and that's facts so listen up whenever you cut this Rico case or whenever you get in trouble break the law and become a thug right you end up frustrating the family you claim you love you end up frustrating the friends you claim you love because this is not only about you these are about the people that loves you and some of these you know street niggas don't really realize that you know it's not only about their life it's about the life of their unborn children it's about the life of their children so they end up risking everything by being on that street and you know catching up with this Rico case and doing some crazy stuff in the streets that gets them locked up and gets them thrown in jail and tomorrow you gonna come out and say free young thug, free this person, you know black people in jail and all that stuff you know you got yourself into some big mess so you gonna face it some of you all go to jail and end up spending 70% of your life in jail 100% of your life in jail cause you never lived and some of these rappers catching this case, it's not really about money. In the life of Young Thug, it's not really about money because he got money. Just like Wallow said, you know, you niggas are getting money that niggas never got. 
you are getting millions of dollars, you are popular, you are famous, you are getting all that from the street, people love you all over the world, and you don't realize that people love you so much, you put your life in danger by making some dumb decisions. And you call it gangster, that's not gangster. Let me explain to you what gangster really means. Gangster is when you'll be able to take care of the people you love and the people that love you. Gangster is when you'll be able to do things legally to make money. Being a gangster is not just going to the street and doing some, you know, unlawful things to make money and killing people, robbing people, and doing drugs and stuff like that. That's not gangster. I wish Young Thug really listened to Wallow on this particular clip because if he got home the same day that he went on this interview and sat down, you know, lay on his bed or go to the pool in his house and really calm his head to, you know, watch and rewind on the interview he just went for, you know, he's not going to be in jail right now, right? Because it's a very lonely road for him right now. All the YSL members are snitching on him. Gunner snitched on him, right? His brother snitched on him. Everyone is snitching on him right now. So he is standing alone. And that's exactly what Wallow said. You get what I'm saying? Young Thug is standing all alone right now inside that jail thinking about his life because if anything goes wrong, he is going to spend the rest of his life in jail. And that's what, you know, the jewelry is making sure that happens. But we are praying for him that he gets a second chance. But this is a big lesson to all you niggas in the streets. This is a big lesson to you that call yourself a gangster. You better make the decision right now to turn back and become a better person. There's millions of ways you can make money. There's millions of ways that you can claim that you are a real gangster. You get what I'm saying? Stop making those dumb decisions. Killing people and robbing people doesn't make you a gangster. You have to realize it for yourself. The richest men in the world are not gangsters. None of them are gangsters. Jay-Z was once a street nigger, but he turned his ways to become a billionaire. He didn't become a billionaire by staying in the street and selling drugs that he, you know, like he used to do before. He told you, you have to turn his way. And right now, it's a lonely road for young Thug. And that's how it is for all of ya. You know, your woman is going to go date another man, right? Your kids are going to call another man their father because they don't really know who their real father is. Your family are going to forget about you. You get what I'm saying? Everything you stand for are going to go away. You are going to get locked up for the rest of your life. And some of you all don't, you know, don't be lucky because you end up losing your life in jail. So why don't you turn back and make better decisions right now as you are watching this particular video. If you are a gangster, gangster can never get you to where you want to be in life. Because, listen up, some of these rappers that claim to be gangsters, none of them are getting endorsement deals anyways. You get what I'm saying? You know, none of them are getting endorsement deals. They are only getting money off shows and off streaming and stuff like that. None of them are really getting endorsement deals because big companies can never endorse you if your brand and your name stands for gangster life. You get what I'm saying? So it's really crazy, man. You all saw what happened to Cardi B and Offset when they went and signed that deal. Some officials came out from, you know, the restaurant or the fast food to say, you know, their brand stands for something uh, crazy. You know, they can't really represent, you know, the brand really good. You all saw what happened. Jay-Z is getting it right now because he have to turn his ways and do things, you know, in proper ways. That's what Rick Gangster stands for. So it's really crazy, guys. Look at the life of 50 Cent. He became a better person. He got shot nine times in the street and he never turned back to say, okay, cool, I'm going to keep shooting people because I got shot. No, he turned his ways and became a better person, told the story and changed his way. And right now he's closing millions and millions and he became a billionaire. And this is the life of Young Thug right now. You get what I'm saying? It's all ending up in tears. It's all ending up in tears because some of these young niggers are still thinking they are doing the right thing. No, bro. You're going to end up dying prematurely 
or you're going to end up getting your ass in jail and spending your ass in jail for the rest of your life. And when you get in there, you got to know that, you know, all the gangster stuff about your life will be gone. And that's facts. So you better think about it right now that you got a chance to become a better person and change your ways. But go ahead and share your opinions in the comment section. Tell me what you all think. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Stay your favorite African brother reporting.